Noah Centineo gets catfished? IRL, uh-huh. We'll tell you the crazy story and what celeb Noah has a crush on. I'm hoping it's me. Plus, be sure to stick around because Kane Brown is in the house. I'm Kelsey Vanis and you're watching The Daily Report. Noah Centineo is the internet boyfriend everyone has been talking about since To All The Boys I've Loved Before, who is now starring in a new Netflix rom-com called Sierra Burgess Is A Loser with Shannon Purser. In the film, Noah's character gets cat fished by Sierra Burgess and apparently this hit close to home for Noah. While playing a game of Never Have I Ever with Young Hollywood, he admitted he has also actually been catfished. He went on to tell the story of how it happened, saying, quote, I developed what I thought was like, you know, an intimate relationship with someone, and we were just like talking and really getting to know each other, and it turned out that they just were not who I thought they were. I still don't know to this day who they were. Yikes. Even celebs get catfished. Who would have known? Me, because I did it. <laughs> but don't catfish people, it's not cool. So it's no surprise that Noah is now looking to celebrities for a stable relationship. You know, catfishing someone's a lot harder when everyone knows your face. In an interview with Seventeen, he confessed his celebrity crush is... I wish I could roll my tongue. Someone drum roll. <laughs> Selena Gomez! <laughs> Obviously, she's gorgeous, and yeah, we totally get it. He gushed about her saying, quote, I think Selena Gomez seems like one of the coolest people ever, and she's like an activist as well, and clearly she loves love and is a loving person. Raise your hand if you wish Noah was talking about you. <laughs> no, just me. No, no, stop. Speaking of men we wish that loved us back, Kane Brown is here to chat about his latest AMA nominations and so much more. Kane, where are you at? I'm here, let's do this. It feels amazing to me uh, to be nominated for the uh, AMAs just because it's all across the board with all genres. Uh, so many different artists, so much different talent to be one of those guys just means the world to me. It's all I do is work towards my music, so I feel accomplished. Yeah, so we have an album coming out November 9th called it The Experiment Album just because it's all over the map with different instruments and uh, different sounding songs. I feel like there's a song on there for at least one person. We also have the tour coming up next year, the Live Forever Tour. Uh, I got Granger Smith as my direct support with openers Daniel Bradbury, Ray Lynn, and Jimmy Allen. Talent all over the board, everybody's different. It's like huge diversity, so it's, it's gonna be an amazing tour and we can't wait. Anybody that wants to come and ask me for a collaboration, let's do it. I'm down. <laughs> come on. <laughs> we came to a show down in Tampa, uh, Florida. Uh, she came to him. We talked for a second, we went to Top Golf after, and then after that, we didn't talk. I hit her up on Instagram the next day, I slid into the DMs. She came to Nashville and she hasn't left since. Uh, the first thing I bought was a vehicle um, because I had a 2002 Honda that wouldn't do over 4,000 uh, 4, RPMs. I don't know, I always wanted to be an athlete and the music took off. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing probably. So all the songs basically just come from life or experiences and just really having fun and just having a fun album. See ya. I'll go the other way. Let's do it. <laughs> Magic. Thank you, Kane, so much. What a gem. To download Kane's new album, get tour tickets, and vote for Kane to win an AMA, check out the links in the description box below. But we want to know what you think. Who do you guys think we should interview next here on The Daily Report? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. I'm Kelsey Vanis, and honestly, having Noah here would be amazing.